When a pilot rotates the control column to the left, the deflected ailerons effectively change the shape of the aerofoil. The left aileron deflects up, decreasing lift on the left wing, and the right aileron deflects down, increasing lift on the right wing. As we know, any increase in lift is accompanied with an increase in induced drag. So the right aileron experiences more drag than the left aileron, and this results in a yaw in the direction opposite to the roll. This yaw is known as adverse aileron yaw. To prevent this adverse aileron yaw, the pilot must apply appropriate rudder in the same direction as the roll. A properly coordinated entry into a turn should involve only roll, and any yaw should be prevented by the pilot through use of the rudder. The adverse aileron yaw is a result of uneven drag being generated by the ailerons. Aircraft designers often incorporate features that help to even out the aileron drag and reduce adverse aileron yaw. Two of these features are differential ailerons and freeze ailerons. Differential ailerons are an arrangement where the downgoing aileron deflects a smaller amount than the upgoing aileron. With a larger deflection on the upgoing aileron, it generates additional form drag, helping to even out the total drag created by both ailerons. With the drag generated by both ailerons being closer to even, the adverse aileron yaw is reduced. Freeze ailerons are designed with a wedge that protrudes into the airflow only on the side that requires additional drag. The aileron is hinged at the top and has a wedge at the bottom such that the wedge is up inside the wing on the downward deflected aileron, but the wedge protrudes into the airflow on the upward deflected aileron, creating additional drag. Some aircraft incorporate both of these design features, so they will have freeze ailerons that have differential deflection.